working. I'm David Paul, KHL 11 Weather Center is where we are. Um, and at the moment, the tropical Atlantic, the Atlantic Basin, the Caribbean Sea, the Gulf of Mexico are quiet. There's no storms that are active or brewing out there right now. That being said, computer models have been for the past several days hinting at the possibility that we could see tropical development in the Gulf of Mexico as we head into the early and middle part of next week. And of course, anytime something threatens to develop in the Gulf of Mexico, it definitely gets our attention. Let's diagnose it. Here's the setup as it stands right now. A piece of energy is gonna try to cross over Mexico and into the Southern Gulf, the Bay of Campeche, as we head into Sunday night, Monday, and Tuesday. If it can manage to hold together and get out here over the warm waters of the Gulf, Hurricane Center believes it has a 30% chance that it could, over several days, close off a low pressure area and perhaps become a tropical depression or maybe even a tropical storm. That remains to be seen. But a 30% chance for development in the Gulf is what we're looking at going into next week. The sea surface temperatures out here are plenty warm. You need water temperature of 80 degrees or more to really get these tropical systems going. So if it moves into the southern Gulf, they've got temperatures at 86 degrees. That's plenty warm. 84 in the middle part of the Gulf. It's even 82 up here in the upper Texas coast. So there's plenty of heat energy on sea surface temperatures right now. That won't be a limiting factor. What I've been looking at this evening are the mid-level winds. These will play a, a crucial role in not only how strong the system could potentially get, but where it's going to go. And I think this display I'm going to show you here really gives us a clue as to where the atmosphere thinks this storm may be steered if indeed a storm does form in the Gulf next week. So let's take a look at this. Again, this is the wind flow at 18,000 feet, 500 millibar winds for you meteorologists at home. So what do we have right now? This is a huge mountain of air right here. That's a high pressure dome. That's why we're so hot. We're under the influence of that high pressure area. Think of that as, uh, as a mountain. It's like a big <laughs> mountain of air right there. And if you take a look right here, we've got another one of these high pressure areas here. That's another mountain of air. So in between the two mountains, you have a valley, right? There's the valley. So most likely this storm, if it does indeed develop, will stay in the valley. It can't climb up the mountains. The valley would be the path of least resistance. So this is the way the winds stand right now. Let's push this forward in time and see what next week holds as far as possible steering of this, this system. So going into Tuesday, again, possibly we could see some development right down in here. So what's the setup? Well, this is interesting. We still have our big mountain of air here, and it's still well entrenched even into East Texas. In fact, look at how it ridges all the way out into Louisiana, Mississippi. We've got another mountain over here, but this is interesting. See this where the, the winds drop down to the south? So that's a trough. That is, that's the valley in between the two mountains. So that at the moment, at least going into Tuesday, would be the path of least resistance for this storm to follow. That's Tuesday. Let's go into Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So if this storm is gonna form, it looks like it would be Thursday, Friday, that it would be getting close to making landfall. And where are the steering currents wanting to take it? We can see right up into the north central Gulf of Mexico would be where this potential storm would be most likely steered. So let's take a look at the computer model runs on this and you'll see why the computers have the solution they do. It has everything to do with these winds at 500 millibars. So going into Monday, Tuesday, perhaps we would get some tropical formation down here, perhaps low pressure can form. This is gonna be a slow process. It's not gonna happen fast. We have plenty of time to watch it. And you'll see when I run this forward in time, watch where the computers at the moment wanna take this system. If it does form, there's our close low, perhaps a weak tropical system heading right toward the northern Gulf Coast states, exactly where those 500 millibar winds, those winds at 18,000 feet, suggest it would go. That's one of the big reasons why this forecast model, this is the American model, the GFS, has the solution that it does. But it's not set in stone. These systems that are being attempted to be forecasted by computer models before they form are extraordinarily difficult to make forecasts for. They don't exist yet. Forecasting intensity or track, or even if they're gonna form at all, is tricky. That's why we have to deal in these percentages. So at the moment, as you saw earlier, it's a 30% chance that this forms at all. 
If it does, we'd have something in the Gulf, and obviously whenever anything gets in the Gulf, we pay attention to it and watch it like a hawk because it's trapped. You know, it's going to hit somewhere, and it could be us. So what to do with this? So over the weekend, you don't have to worry about this, but just make sure you touch base with us once or twice a day, uh, just in case the forecast changes dramatically for some reason. I don't want anybody to get caught off guard. So tropical development possible in the Gulf next week. Forecast changes are likely for the reasons I just discussed. It hasn't formed yet, so the computers will be struggling until we actually get a low pressure area that actually forms to forecast intensity or the forecast track. Stay close to the weather forecast over the weekend and into early next week, just in case something does form down there. You don't want you and your family to get caught off guard. That's where we stand right now going into Friday and the weekend. Uh, a complete update and updated computer models on KHO. You 11 news at 10 tonight. We will see you then for a live update.